radian. The radian is the standard unit of angular measure, used in many areas of mathematics. An angle's measurement in radians is numerically equal to the length of a corresponding arc of a unit circle, so one radian is just under 57.3 degrees. The unit was formerly an SI supplementary unit, but this category was abolished in 1995 and the radian is now considered an SI-derived unit. The SI unit of solid angle measurement is the steradian. The radian is represented by the symbol rad, Unicode encoded as U plus 33 AD rad. An alternative symbol is the superscript letter C, for circular measure, but this is infrequently used as it can be easily mistaken for a degree symbol, deg. So for example, a value of 1.2 radians could be written as 1.2 radians, 1.2 radians, or 1.2 C. Definition Radian describes the plane angle subtended by a circular arc as the length of the arc divided by the radius of the arc. One radian is the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc that is equal in length to the radius of the circle. More generally, the magnitude in radians of such a subtended angle is equal to the ratio of the arc length to the radius of the circle. That is, th equals s slash r, where th is the subtended angle in radians, S is arc length, and R is radius. Conversely, the length of the enclosed arc is equal to the radius multiplied by the magnitude of the angle in radians. That is, S equals RTH. As the ratio of two lengths, the radian is a pure number that needs no unit symbol, and in mathematical writing the symbol rad is almost always omitted. When quantifying an angle in the absence of any symbol, radians are assumed and when degrees are meant the symbol deg is used. It follows that the magnitude in radians of one complete revolution, 360 degrees, is the length of the entire circumference divided by the radius, or 2 p r slash r, or 2 p. Thus 2 p radians is equal to 360 degrees, meaning that one radian is equal to 180 slash p degrees. History the concept of radian measure, as opposed to the degree of an angle, is normally credited to Roger Coates in 1714. He described the radian in everything but name, and he recognized its naturalness as a unit of angular measure. The idea of measuring angles by the length of the arc was already in use by other mathematicians. For example Okashi, c. 1400 used so-called diameter parts as units where one diameter part was 1 60th radian and they also used sexagesimal subunits of the diameter part. The term radian first appeared in print on June 5, 1873, in examination questions set by James Thompson, brother of Lord Kelvin, at Queen's College, Belfast. He had used the term as early as 1871, while in 1869, Thomas Muir, then of the University of St. Andrews, vacillated between the terms rad, radial, and radian. In 1874, Muir adopted radian after a consultation with James Thompson. Conversions Conversion between radians and degrees As stated, one radian is equal to 180 slash p degrees. Thus, to convert from radians to degrees, multiply by 180 slash p. For example, conversely, to convert from degrees to radians, multiply by p slash 180. For example, radians can be converted to turns, complete revolutions, by dividing the number of radians by 2p. Radian to degree conversion derivation The length of circumference of a circle is given by, where is the radius of the circle? So the following equivalent relation is true. By the definition of radian, a full circle represents combining both the above relations. Conversion between radians and grads. Radians are equal to one turn, which is by definition 400 grads, 400 g. So, to convert from radians to grads multiply by, and to convert from grads to radians multiply by. For example, 
Conversion of some common angles. The table shows the conversion of some common angles. Advantages of measuring in radians. In calculus and most other branches of mathematics beyond practical geometry, angles are universally measured in radians. This is because radians have a mathematical naturalness that leads to a more elegant formulation of a number of important results. Most notably, results in analysis involving trigonometric functions are simple and elegant when the function's arguments are expressed in radians. For example, the use of radians leads to the simple limit formula which is the basis of many other identities in mathematics, including Because of these and other properties, the trigonometric functions appear in solutions to mathematical problems that are not obviously related to the function's geometrical meanings, for example, the solutions to the differential equation, the evaluation of the integral, and so on. In all such cases it is found that the arguments to the functions are most naturally written in the form that corresponds in geometrical contexts, to the radian measurement of angles. The trigonometric functions also have simple and elegant series expansions when radians are used. For example, the following Taylor series for sin x. If x were expressed in degrees then the series would contain messy factors involving powers of p slash 180, if x is the number of degrees, the number of radians is y equals p x slash 180, so mathematically important relationships between the sine and cosine functions and the exponential function, c, for example, Euler's formula, are, again, elegant when the function's arguments are in radians and messy otherwise. Dimensional analysis Although the radian is a unit of measure, it is a dimensionless quantity. This can be seen from the definition given earlier, the angle subtended at the center of a circle, measured in radians, is equal to the ratio of the length of the enclosed arc to the length of the circle's radius. Since the units of measurement cancel, this ratio is dimensionless. Although polar and spherical coordinates use radians to describe coordinates in two and three dimensions, the unit is derived from the radius coordinate, so the angle measure is still dimensionless. Use in physics. The radian is widely used in physics when angular measurements are required. For example, angular velocity is typically measured in radians per second, radian per second. One revolution per second is equal to 2p radians per second. Similarly, angular acceleration is often measured in radians per second per second, radian per second too. For the purpose of dimensional analysis, the units are s. 1 and s. 2 respectively. Likewise, the phase difference of two waves can also be measured in radians. For example, if the phase difference of two waves is, k to p, radians, where k is an integer, they are considered in phase, whilst if the phase difference of two waves is, k to p plus p, where k is an integer, they are considered in antiphase. Multiples of radian units Metric prefixes have limited use with radians, and none in mathematics. A milliradian, mrad, is a thousandth of a radian and a microradian, urad or mrad, is a millionth of a radian, that is 103 mrad equals 106 urad equals 1 radian. There are 2 px 1000 milliradians. 6283.185 mrad, in a circle. So a trigonometric milliradian is just under 1 6,283rd of a circle. This real trigonometric unit of angular measurement of a circle is in use by telescopic site manufacturers using stadiometric, rangefinding and reticles. The divergence of laser beams is also usually measured in milliradians. An approximation of the trigonometric milliradian, 0.001 radians, known as the angular mil is used by NATO and other military organizations in gunnery and targeting. Each angular mill represents 1 6,400th of a circle and is 1 78 smaller than the trigonometric milliradian. For the small angles typically found in targeting work, the convenience of using the number 6400 in calculation outweighs the small mathematical errors it introduces.
In the past, other gunnery systems have used different approximations to 1/2000p. For example, Sweden used the 1/6300 Streck and the USSR used 1/6000. Being based on the milliradian, the NATO mil subtends roughly 1m at a range of 1000m. At such small angles, the curvature is negligible. Smaller units like microradians, MRAD, and nanoradians, NRAD, are used in astronomy, and can also be used to measure the beam quality of lasers with ultra-low divergence. Similarly, the prefixes smaller than milli are potentially useful in measuring extremely small angles, 